Trading options on TradingView has become much simpler, and in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. We will not rush. I'll explain what each tool does, and by the end of this video, you'll understand how to go from looking at a chart to placing your very first options trade. We'll start with why TradingView is such a good place for options trading. Then we'll open the options chain together, which is the main table where you see all the contracts. After that, I'll show you how to connect your broker. We'll then place an example trade, learn how to manage it, and finally go through some important safety tips so you don't make beginner mistakes. Let's begin with why TradingView is useful for trading options. TradingView makes options trading easier with better charts and tools than most broker platforms. You can connect your broker, place trades directly on the chart, and manage positions visually. It supports drawing tools, alerts, and custom indicators to improve your timing. Instead of switching between platforms, you analyze and trade in one place, giving you a faster, clearer, and more efficient way to trade options. Now let's talk about the options chain. The options chain is simply a big table that lists all the option contracts available for a stock or an ETF. You can open it in three different ways on TradingView. The first way is from the main TradingView homepage. At the top, there's a menu called Products. Hover over it and click on Options. This will take you to the full options section where you'll see the chain, the strategy builder, and other tools. The second way is inside Supercharts, which is the main charting window most people use. On the right side, there is a dock with different panels. Click Options, and the chain will appear next to your chart. The third way is to go to the symbol page of any stock. If you search for a ticker like Tesla and open its page, you'll see an options tab. Clicking on that will bring up the chain as well. Now that you know how to open it, let's look at what's inside. The options chain is divided into two sides. On the left are call options. On the right are put options. Down the middle are the strike prices. A strike price is the specific level where you have the right to buy or sell the stock. Each row in the table is one option contract you could trade. Next to each strike, you'll see numbers. The bid shows the price people are offering to buy. The ask shows the price sellers want. Volume tells you how many contracts traded today. You'll also see implied volatility, often called IV. This number tells you how expensive the option is based on how much movement traders expect in the future. Higher IV means higher prices for options. Lower IV means cheaper options. Another set of numbers you'll see are called the Greeks. These can look intimidating at first, but think of them as small meters that measure how your option behaves. Delta shows how much the option price moves when the stock price moves. Theta shows how much value the option loses each day due to time decay. Vega shows how sensitive the option is to changes in volatility. Gamma measures how fast delta changes. You don't need to master them right away, but it's good to know they are there. At the top of the chain, you'll see the expiration dates. Options always expire, and each date has its own set of contracts. Click on a date to load those contracts. If you think the stock will move in the next two weeks, choose an expiry around that time. Now that you understand the chain, let's connect a broker so we can trade. Select Products. Then select Supercharts. At the bottom of the Supercharts window, you'll see the trading panel. Open it, and you'll find a list of brokers. If you're in the United States, the two main brokers that work with options on TradingView are TradeStation and Tradier. Choose your broker, click Connect, and log in with your username and password. After you connect, you'll see your account information appear in TradingView. If you are brand new, I strongly recommend starting with Paper Trading. Paper Trading is a built-in simulator that works exactly like a live account, but with fake money. This allows you to practice placing and managing trades without risking real cash. Just click Paper Trading in the trading panel, then click Connect. Let's place a trade now. 
we'll use a simple example of buying a call option. So, let's say we want to trade Tesla options. First, click on the symbol search bar at the top of your trading view chart. On the symbol search page, type in Tesla. And under the options section, select Tesla from the list. Now, let's assume we're expecting Tesla's price to rise in the coming weeks. In that case, we'll need to choose an expiration date that's a bit further out. Let's go with October 24th, which gives the trade some time to play out. After selecting the expiry date, the next step is to choose the strike price. Ideally, pick a strike price that's close to Tesla's current market price. For example, if Tesla is currently trading around $338, we might select the $340 call option since it's near the current price. At this point, we're now on the Tesla options chart for the October 24th, 2025, 340 call. To place the trade, simply click on Trade. You'll see options for Limit Order, Market Order, and Stop Order, along with the choice to buy or sell. In this example, since we're anticipating an upward move in Tesla's price, we'll be placing a buy order. If we want to enter the trade immediately at the current market price, we'll go with a market order. Just click on Market, then click Buy, and your order will be executed right away at the current market value. For a limit order, you're able to set the exact price at which you want to enter the trade. For example, let's say the current market price is $26.55, but you want to buy at a slightly lower price. You can set your limit order at $25.50, and once the market reaches that level, the order will be filled automatically. That's the advantage of using a limit order. You're in control of your entry price. Next, you'll want to set the number of units, which refers to how many contracts you want to buy. You can leave it at one unit or increase it to two or more depending on your trade size. Then, under time and force, you can choose how long the order should remain active. If you select day, the limit order will automatically cancel at the end of the trading day if it isn't filled. If you select week, the order will stay active for a full week before expiring if it's not triggered. Once you've set the entry price, number of contracts, and time in force, just click Buy, and your limit order will be placed. Now let's manage the trade. To set a stop loss, click the stop loss icon and drag it to your preferred level, usually below a support zone or recent low. To set a take profit, do the same. Click the TP icon and drag it to your target price. Once both are positioned, click Confirm, and your stop loss and take profit orders will be active. You now have a limit buy order in place, along with your stop loss and take profit levels. Everything is set. If you want to cancel any part of the trade, for example, the take profit or the entire setup, just click the small cancel icon next to the order on your chart. Another way to manage your trades is through the trading panel. Click on paper trading, then go to orders. Here, you'll see your active limit orders, stop losses, and take profits listed. You can cancel or modify them by clicking the X icon or the modify edit button directly from this panel. Once price reaches your limit, buy level, in this case $25.50, the trade will automatically be executed and you'll be in the position with your stop loss and take profit already set. And that's how you place and manage a buy limit order when trading options on TradingView. If you want TradingView to notify you when your order is filled, you can set an alert at your entry price. To do this, simply right-click anywhere on the chart, then click Add Alert. In the alert settings, set the price level to your buy limit. For example, $25.50. Then click Create Alert. Once this is set, TradingView will automatically send you a notification when the price reaches $25.50, so you don't have to sit and watch the chart all day. The alert ensures you're notified the moment price crosses your buy level. Options can expire worthless, so never risk more than a small portion of your account on one trade. A good guideline is 1-2% to of your balance per trade. Finally, start small or use paper trading.
Do not jump in with large size. Practice the routine of opening the chain, checking strikes, sending orders, and managing trades. Build that confidence first. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, leave a comment with your questions, subscribe for more tutorials, and check the description for useful links and resources.